Mike, let me ask you a question. The period between TCDT and launch, is that a very hectic time for you? Is there a little lull in there between the two points, or do you really, is it the, the point that basically TCDT kind of focuses you in toward what's coming next? TCDT is, is, a, is a, the last major step in our, in our preparation, at least involving the flight crew, for launch. We're, we're 15 days away from launch now. We still have quite a bit of work to do on the launch pad. We have to finish up all the uh, external tank x-rays and the, and the retest of the main fuel valve, um, connect all the ordnance, pressurize all the, the high pressure bottles on the inside the orbiter. Um, but, but this week, this week is sort of like typically like the halfway point in the pad flow. It's sort of a crescendo this week because there are so many people that contribute to TCDT training the astronauts, we interface with them, we, we go to private meetings together, that type of thing. Um, so this was a hectic week for the launch team. Very um, busy. Very busy. Next week um, we'll kind of calm down a little bit. Um, again, doing a lot of work at the pad, but, but not as a full-up team. It'll be, it'll be specific groups doing work at the pad next week. Um, and then after that we, we take we take uh, the weekend of July 4th off. We have three days off. We'll come back for launch countdown. So, yeah, we were, we were kind of up here this week, and we'll take a little bit of a breather next week. and then, and then Back launch up week. again. And launch week, yeah. Um, and I, I, I know this has probably been a, a bit of a reflection point, also a period for you as well. When that final launch happens, what do you think you're going to be feeling? What, what I mean, a, a sense of relief? Um, uh, I don't know. I, you know, I've thought a lot about this, and... and uh, I don't know what it's going to be like. You know, for the first, for the last flight of, of Discovery, we knew we had Endeavour and Atlantis to go. Right. And then, and then Endeavour's last flight, we knew we had Atlantis to go. Well, now this is really and truly the last flight of the space shuttle program, and, and uh, so it's going to be very, a very reflective time. It'll be, it'll be a very, a very the launch will be very much like any other launch. I mean, we, right. When the guys are on console, we're very serious about what we're doing. And, and uh, so we, we won't be distracted by the fact that it's the last one. But I suspect uh, after launch and the guys are safely in orbit, um, there'll be time for reflection and some, probably some special speeches. Now, as the flow progresses for the 135, have you had the opportunity to make, maybe take moments? I mean, because you, your career and your schedule has to be very busy, <laughs> very hectic to say the least. Have you tried to take time to kind of savor the moment and to take it all in as it were? Um, I did. Uh, I got to ride on the mobile launcher uh, as, as we rode rode out to the launch pad, and um, I met Fergie and his crew on the on the mobile launcher. And so we had some some private time to talk about things. That was a special time because there's only eight or ten of us on the whole mobile launch platform as we were rolling out. That was a special time of reflection. Um, I'm going to go out to the pad Saturday um, by myself and look around. And, uh, just take some time. Just take some time. Talk take to it some all folks. In. Yeah. Stand back. Look up. Look up at what a magnificent ship it is. Feel good about what we've done for the country. Well, I remember on STS-114, um, you said that you told Eileen Collins, you said, "Good luck and have a little bit of fun up there." <laughs> yeah. Well, I think all of us at Space Vidcast want to now wish you that. Oh, thank you. Good luck and have some fun out there. Isn't that cool? Thank you very much. Thank you so much, I Mike. I appreciate that. Very cool.